Hong Kong's largest electricity provider, CLP, has registered a loss of nearly $5 billion in the first six months of the year. The company hinted it could increase tariffs in the future due to surging energy costs. The war in Ukraine and the COVID pandemic have led to soaring global energy prices in recent days. CLP said it had tried its best to mitigate the negative impact, but fuel costs for the first half of the year still surpassed $20 billion, a 40 percent jump year on year. Tariff hikes seemed unavoidable, the firm warned, citing large increases in Singapore and Tokyo. The Hong Kong listed company today reported a net loss of $4.855 billion for the first half of the year. A sharp contrast to the net profit of $4.615 billion for the same period last year. The loss was largely caused by its energy hedging projects in Australia, which netted a loss of nearly $8 billion. First half revenue rose by 17 percent to $47.59 billion. The second interim dividend of 63 cents per share will be paid. Despite the setback, the management remained optimistic about opportunities in its core markets in Hong Kong and the Greater Bay Area. It also apologized to New Territories West residents affected by a power outage last month, adding repair costs are covered. So we do have uh, a maintenance budget and uh, the cost of that cable bridge just comes out of our maintenance budget. It, it wouldn't affect our operation. Uh, and uh, wouldn't be a, a, a significant uh, impact on, on, on our maintenance costs for the year. CLP is now working with authorities to find out what had caused the cable bridge fire.